I suppose I'll be punished. He mightn't let you join. Oh no, we can sneak around the back way. He could think we were there all the time. Come on. It's locked. I know. I'll climb out through the window and let you in. along to the nearest police boys club. You'll have no trouble enrolling your nephew. It's a pity there isn't something similar for girls. They both need discipline. Ever since their parents died, they've done nothing but get into mischief. Mrs. Wade? Just a moment. One of the kids. The children aren't home. and joy he dreamed of ball game fame but catch's dreams were fairy floss and life was real and true he never dreamed in make-believe what he would have to do his life was changed but catch believed he'd done his uncle harm so he and kate must hide away and run at each along and then his dreams were filled with men all angry, broad and tall. And when they yelled, catch candy, they were just playing ball. Uncle, please wake up. Is there anything wrong, sir? Mr. Candy? Mr. Candy? Candy? Why didn't you open the door? I couldn't. I was trapped. Then Uncle came up. I think my skate killed him. Killed? Shouldn't tell someone? They might think I did it. Not if you tell the truth. We've only been here a short time. People won't know I don't tell lies. What if they lock me up? Would they catch? And I have to look after you. We're the only ones left now. We've only got us. We've got to stay together.
We'll need these. And this. Come on, Kate. Mrs. Wayne took us over to the zoo. No one will find us there. Mrs. Wayne. Yes, Mr. Candy? Have you got rid of the roller skates? Oh, but Mr. Candy... Now, I've always considered roller skates dangerous, and today I proved it. They do tend to roll about a bit. The children knew quite definitely they were to be home at 12.30 for lunch. They've probably just forgotten the time. It's nearly three. trying to do the right thing. I wasted half a day coming home for that police boys club business. Well, perhaps they... Mrs. Wayne, I told the children they were to live here. They must obey the household rules. I can't neglect my business. And I won't have you neglecting your household duties to go running after them. I'm sure there's no need to worry. They're new to the city. They could easily get lost. Catch is a very sensible boy. He's too young to be sensible. I have a feeling something's wrong. Find a cave first. Look, Kate. If it rains, we won't get wet. I'm hungry. We spent all our money on food. I can catch some fish for dinner. You can't just live in the bush. Why not? Well, they're bleaching suit easily. Are they eating? Not here, silly. In the old days. I know. We can collect empty drink bottles and soon get money for them. Do you want some dinner? And some matches. I'll catch that fish tomorrow. Coming? Leave those there. They'll be all right. No money back on those. No, Kate, we've got to buy proper food. Timmy Pies, please. 
Not enough, son. Okay, that'll do. They're cold anyway. Here. <coughs> These won't kick till tomorrow. Gee, thanks. He will be all right. Hey, you kids. Here. You like stale cakes? Yes. Present for you. Gee, thanks. News of the children, Mrs. Wayne. Not yet. I'll ring the police. <clears throat> ah, I'd like to speak to Sergeant Lawson, please. Sergeant Lawson? Any news of the missing children yet? I'd like to know what's being done about them. You're their uncle, I think you said, Mr. Candy. They've come to live with me. Their parents were killed overseas. And I'm very concerned, Sergeant. It's a little early to worry yet, sir. They've probably gone to call on some school friend. They have no school friends. I've only recently brought them from interstate. And as it's holiday time, I couldn't very well enroll them in a school. There's no reason you should think something's happened to them. Children are often late. They knew they should be home at a stated time. Just leave the matter with me, sir. Thank you. They'll turn up when they're hungry. Can't I have a cake? After everything else. I don't like cold pies. Can't you light a fire and make them hot? I forgot the matches. It's going to be dark soon. We'd, we'd better make a bed. How? With leaves and stuff. We'd better help, Kate. Hey! It's quite soft. We better collect some more leaves just to make certain. I won't hurt you. Cold, no? Eh? Thought you would be. Come and have a warm. Aboriginal. Mangonia. I think maybe you better go home, don't you? We can't. 
You don't have a home? Maybe you better come to my place then. We've got a place here. You want to camp out by yourself, huh? You said they were only in the old days. Saw you making camp this afternoon. Knew you'd be cold. So I got these from a friend. Good blankets to keep you warm. Why don't you sleep over there? That's a better place. Can't we can wrap them around us. <laughs> Get in, Jack. Don't you love really wise people? Well, all this bush so close to the city, just for us. And don't you think it was wise of, well, of somebody? <laughs> Do you always come here for breakfast? I live here. Anybody thirsty? I am. Right. No rusty pipes! No water rates. He's funny. Yes, but he's not done. Do you really live here? Just like you. How did you know? Oh, I know lots of things. Except your names. I'm Kat. I'm Kate. Catch? That's a funny name. I'm always called that, because I like catching. 
Here, have some more. You haven't eaten a thing, Mr. Candy. Another cup of coffee, please, Mrs. Wynn. Well, I'm sure they'll turn up today. <clears throat> Out all night, huh? Catches an adventurous boy, that's all. A nice start at this morning's big production meeting. You know, I really miss getting their breakfast ready this morning. And the chatter. They seem part of this house now. The house is quiet again, if that's what you mean. But don't you miss them? The sooner they're back, the better. Well, would you like to see where I live? Uh, catch. You bring the panic This way. Christian's Castle. Isn't it secret? No one knows. See? Where'd you get the boomerang? Anganya made it for me. Does he live here too? No. He lives in an apartment. But he loves the bush and he often comes here. He stayed here last night. Why do you live in a cave? That's a long story. We interrupt this program with a police message. Two young children. Catch and Kate Candy are missing from their home at Rosedale. Any person who has seen them is asked to contact the Rosedale police. Tell me where you live and I'll take you back. You can't. Why not? Because... What about your parents? They were killing the cock when they went overseas. Then why do the police want you? I suppose to put you in a home or something like that. Well, there's no need for that. You've got a home. And a big brother to look after you. We can stay here? Of course. No one's putting you in an institution while I'm around. Well, you have a home and I have work to do. So buzz off and play. It's a terrific home, isn't it, Kate? We'll have lunch at 12, when the sun's right up there. And don't you be late. We weren't. Candy was his name. All ball games were his pride and joy. He dreamed of ball game fame. But Catch's dreams were fairy floss and life was real and true. He never dreamed in make believe what he would have to do. His life was changed for Catch believed he'd done his uncle harm. So he and Kate must hide away and run at each alarm. And then his dreams were filled with men, all angry, broad, and tall. And when they yelled, catch candy, they were just playing ball. 